Hey guys, Joanne's back, and this video is the video where we're going to go through in depth the demo file that I have for my secret weapon or the GTD method using my Evernote software. So just to recap, uh, this is a demo file. Uh, so some of the things are limited as to what I can show you. This does not, the demo file does not have the premier version, the premium version, whatever they call it, attached to it. So I'll, I won't be able to really show, show you a lot of the, um, a lot of the searching capabilities that Evernote has uh, with the premium version, but just trust me when I tell you that it does work. <laughs> Trust me, it does work. So we're going to get right going. We're going to head right in. We're going to dig. We're going to dive right into it. We're going to dive right into the, the getting things done. So inside of getting, getting things done, we have what we like to call notebooks. There are basically notes, notebooks, and tags in Evernote. So when it comes to getting things done, you have to set up a, and this is this is all the stuff, guys, that's why I'm breezing through it, is all in those videos on the secret weapon. Setting up your Evernote for the secret weapon, go watch that video, that will explain how do you get all these things set up, how do you create the tags, how do I end up how do I sort the tags and the sort the notebooks to get them underneath each other? All that will be covered in that other um, video, so I'm not going to cover it here. But I'm just going to show you how it looks like when it's all set up nice and pretty. So I have underneath my notebooks, I have the getting things done stack. And so a stack of notebooks, more than one notebook that is grouped together is called a stack. So underneath my getting things done stack, I have two sub notebooks, which are actions pending and completed. So one of the processes, once you have these folder, these folders, I keep on, pardon me if I call them folders because, you know, you're used to dealing with like a, a computer filing system, they're folders, but in Evernote, it's called a notebook. So the actions pending, guys, is going to become your default notebook. So underneath the properties, and I'm just right-clicking on my notebook for actions pending, you're going to make sure that it's clicked that it is the default notebook. And this becomes important for when you're using the email forwarding. So there's also a way that you can get things into this notebook by forwarding emails. And if you check out, I believe it's tools, uh, account info, no. Oh yes, so underneath, oh I got, I, wow, I got it the first time. Underneath tools and account info, there is where it says email notes to, and then there is the actual email address. You copy and paste this into your email. Uh, I set mine up as a, as a contact. And I call it, I just call it Evernote. The contact is just called Evernote so that when I'm typing something on my phone, I can just type in EV and then that contact shows up and I can just forward things to Evernote when I'm just trying to do it on the fly. All of that does, that doesn't do anything as far as tagging goes, but it just puts everything inside of your actions pending folder. That's like step one, right? Step one is gathering everything and getting it all together. So like we talked about in that other video, pulling everything from voicemails, from snail mail, do your brain dump before you go to bed and all everything that you're dumping out of your brain, anything that you have to do, that is, those are going to be brought into your actions pending folder. Then you can go through that folder and actually, that's when we start tagging them is to the client. We start tagging them for the priority and who needs to do them so that you can start seeing the tasks and how they organize and how they are sorted inside of Evernote. So, and then another way to get things into Evernote is underneath tools, there is a thing called, a section called import folders, and you can actually create a folder on your computer where you can drag and drop pictures, PDFs into, so that it'll also automatically bring it into Evernote and bring it into your in bin or your actions pending folder. So, and right now I already have one set up in my system. I believe it's, let's just see if I can find it here somewhere. Uh, yeah, see I have this thing called add to Evernote. So I use, that's already my, my 
folder has already been created inside of my computer's operating system. So what happens is that everything's in actions pending and when you're done we're done with that task okay there's no like little checkbox or anything but you just take that task and you drag it just like I'm doing here into the completed folder another way to be able to mark something completed is just to from the notebook choice arrow down arrow you just open it up and you just choose the completed folder and then see it removes it from the actions pending. So it's real easy to be able to move things to and from the different folders inside of your GTD notebook stack. Okay, we're gonna totally ignore this my journal because this was set up for uh, just a demo purpose for something else and we don't even really need it so I'm just gonna delete it so that we don't need to pay attention to it. Uh, the other notebook inside of your Evernote for GTD is just simply labeled reference. You can call it reference cabinet. You can call it whatever you want. It really, really does not matter. We're going to remove that from the stack. Hang on a minute. Yeah, okay. I just removed that so that there wasn't a stack. So I just have, it's just called reference cabinet. And this is for anything that you need to keep per permanently. Okay, you just put it in the reference cabinet. Now, I will say this, for my business, for No Fuss Accounting, I have underneath my reference cabinet, I have a, uh, a, new, I have a new notebook. I have a notebook called Admin Notes. And I'm gonna put it inside of here uh, see when I just I just dragged that into there and it created a notebook stack and now I'm gonna and now I'm gonna change this to reference cabinet and then I'm gonna rename this one to be called client notes so in other words what I have here is I have a if something I need to keep on if something I need to keep on file for my business I am gonna call that my admin notes for administration if it's something that's related to a client if it's a client master note uh, I would put it underneath client notes if it's something permanent you need to keep on hand and you don't want to print it out or whatever I use client notes um, me being in an accounting practice a lot of times if it has to do with tax related issues or tax documents I will take all that information and I will actually keep it in my other filing system for my tax documents for my clients and I don't necessarily keep those things in here but the most common things that I keep inside this reference folder for clients is a I call it a working note where I have an ongoing note that I have set up for each client that's tagged to that client that says it it talks about what accounting software they use it talks about you know anything special that I have to know about the job the, the the order that we do the job in maybe some little checklists or anything like that are all inside of that master note and I have that inside of my reference cabinet okay so those are just some examples the other thing that I keep inside my admin note just as a sidebar is all of my business receipts as I mentioned in my first video I actually have all my receipts scanned or scanned to a PDF with my phone and brought into Evernote and they're tagged business receipts so that's how I keep Keep all my business expenses and my business receipts um, organized as inside of my Evernote. So uh, the trash is automatically created that notebook so we're just gonna leave that as it is. We're not gonna talk about a trash is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we don't need to talk about that and it's going jumping right into the tagging system now because this is the important part of GTD. This is what the secret weapon shows you on their videos but we're gonna start down at the bottom uh, we're going to talk about the who and you'll notice that in these different uh, each of these different uh, stacks of tags you will notice it starts with a dot there's a reason why it starts with a dot it helps with the sorting it helps with the organizing of the ta of the tags here and also when you're when you're searching and sorting inside of the view of the actions pending folder so underneath the who section we have okay very important again squiggly line the person's name these are the people that you possibly can delegate to so I have myself my my one accountant and my other accountant bookkeeper 
So between the three of us, we can assign tasks to each other. If I ever want to see who's been, if I ever want to see the work just for who has, just for myself, I could just click on my tag and it'll automatically show me in Evernote anything that's been tagged to me that I have to take care of. And it'll tell me whether it's in process or it'll be listed as completed if I've done the job and I don't even have to pay attention to it. So then I start a list of, I, then I always create an admin, okay? Admin's always for anything that I have to do for my business. I always tag it for admin. And then I start listing my clients as, and I only list my clients as I start having tasks for them. I don't go in ahead of time and actually create tags for all of my clients. I just create the tags on the fly. And then every once in a while, I come in and clean up and clean up my tag area and organize them like the way you see them now. So I just picked up and added a few things just for here, just for demo purposes to see a couple of different clients listed underneath the who section. Uh, underneath the where would be either errands, which is while you're running around town, home, or work. And you notice that it has the little at sign in front of each of those tags. And again, there's a reason for it. It needs to have the at there because it, it puts them in order when we sort the tags for the actions pending folder. The when section, this I think is one of the most, is probably the most important part of GTD, which is making sure you know what client it's for, who it's delegated to, and the priority of it. So we have an option for daily, which is, has an exclamation point in front of it. We have an option for one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that goes from needs to be done immediately to later to someday when you get a chance to you're waiting because you're waiting on somebody else to take action first, whether you're missing information before you can complete the task. So again, this helps with the sorting of all the tasks as to what you need to do first, okay? The last section, which is the first section that actually gets listed, is the what section. And I, for me, I don't use it, so I'm not even going to talk about it and waste time talking about it. Um, I don't work my stuff in projects, I work them in tasks, so to me, this is not applicable. If you wanna use it, you can again go to the secret method, uh, secret method, the secret weapon site, and find out how to actually go about using the what section of the tags. And that is it. Anything else that you decide to tag as far as being able to help you find things, for example, if I find a reference uh, article that I want to read that has to do with social media, I might tag it marketing social media. And so any of those miscellaneous tags, I just set up a subcategory called miscellaneous and you can start, you know, I just stuck some here for an example, young living recipes, gluten free craft ideas, you know, but you can set up Again, this is just a matter of just how do you be able to sort and organize the um, the miscellaneous tags that aren't a part of the what, when, where, and who. Okay, so we're going to end this video at this point because it's we're right around 13 minutes, and I'm going to pick up with you on the very last video, and I'm actually going to, in that video, I promise, are going to be specific examples about how I bring things into uh, GTD, my Evernote, secret weapon, getting things done. Let's get this shit together. Oh, I said the word shit. Let's get this stuff together and let's get rocking this GTD using Evernote. All right, guys, I'm going to see you in my next video.